We're following a heartbreaking story for a family in Nampa after they lost their adopted infant son. The biological mother changed her mind. On your side, wanted to take a closer look at adoption laws in Idaho and see what happened. Lauren Johnson has more on tonight's big story. Don and Michelle, it's a tragic story. Obviously, two families love this little boy as their own. I spoke to an adoption specialist today. They were not involved in this adoption, but shared more about Idaho laws. Take a look. After so long not being able to have children, and then to hold him, it was real. The Stewart family lost their adoptive infant son, Jack Weston Stewart, just a week ago. Jack's biological mother changed her mind. He's now with her. The Stewarts loved Jack as their own and had him in their home for a month before the devastating news. He was a great dad. <laughs> Those who work at a new beginning adoption agency in Boise were heartbroken when they heard about the family's loss. And what neighbors that are looking to support this family need to know is what they've suffered is akin to a death. And questions like, so are you going to um, try again? Um, why don't you think she decided you could keep her baby? Those types of comments are very hurtful to an adoptive family. And the sentiment that is best received is, you know, I'm sorry for your loss. Christy Franz is an adoption specialist at A New Beginning. She was not involved in the Stewart's private adoption, but was willing to discuss adoption laws. Franz explains that no adoption is ever finalized until the baby is born and after the birth mom terminates her parental rights. In Idaho, the birth mom must do this in court before a judge and must wait at least 48 hours after the birth of their baby. Some states it might be 24 hours, sometimes you might have to wait 48 hours. What is unique to Idaho is that you have to go to court. Some states allow you to do that with a social worker and a notary. Franz explains that each adoption is very different. Private adoptions, rather than going through an agency, are becoming more common, in part because of the Internet. The Stewart's adoption was private. The birth mom handpicked the Stewart's to be the parents. This, this was one of the outings that the mom and I did together. We went and painted ceramics and I painted that for him. I mean, the hoops that adoptive parents have to jump through to be uh, approved by the state um, to even consider to go through all of that and have somebody else just decide, you know, to say, I, I, want, it, I want him back. And that's it. Fran says it's unusual that it would take a month for the birth mom to terminate her rights, that the situation is hard, but to keep in mind that there are two families that love this baby as their own. She has every legal right to keep her child. I wish that there was some more protection for adoptive parents. The community has been rallying around the Stewart family trying to raise money after their loss to help them cope. A friend says that if the adoption fails, that money should be returned to the Stewarts, but things like the used car the Stewarts purchased to properly fit a car seat or the numerous baby supplies might not be refundable. Other things purchased, like a home study, can't be refunded, but can be used if the couple chooses to adopt again. A GoFundMe account is set up for the family, and that's on our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. In studio, Lauren Johnson, 6 on your side.